वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टाइमर काउंटर प्रोग्रामिंग इन एट जीरो फाइव वन वेन यू डू प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ टाइमर काउंटर देर आर फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स दैट यू मस्ट नो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दोज बेजिक्स फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम फॉर टाइमर एंड काउंटर इन एट जीरो फाइव वन See, first of all, you should know there are two timers which is there with microcontroller eight zero five one, T zero and T one. When you talk about T zero, then T zero is of sixteen bits, that is further divided into T H zero and T L zero. Similarly, T one that is also of sixteen bits, that is further divided into T H one and T L one, so that is up to you which timer that you want to use. Why we need to use this timer? The reason is inside this we will be loading the value of count. So you will have to see the problem first. In question you will have to see what you are delivered to do. Based on that you will have to identify how much count that I need to load inside this resistors. that's why these resistors are essential once you understand this you will have to understand two more resistors t mode resistor and t con resistor how you need to understand let us try to understand that see you have t mode resistor t mode resistor does what it explains you whether you want to use this timers as a timer or counter so there will be ct bar bit ct bar bit explains you whether this is counter or a timer now you will have to understand what is the meaning of counter and what is the meaning of timer see timer means what we are taking internal clock input with 8051 so 8051 is having oscillator clock inside that is given as a timer and that we use it for generation of delay here when you want to operate that as a counter at a time you will be taking clock from external pin so when you want to count external event at that time you will be using this as a counter right so understand this so when you take input from external pin at that time it will be working as a counter that you will have to define inside t mode resistor and here my dear students once you understand ct bar bit you will have to understand in which mode you want to operate m0 m1 two bits are there for timer 0 and timer 1 that will define in which mode this timers will work there can be four different modes mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 generally we use mode 1 only so for that you will be using that two bits as 0 1 to operate it with mode 1 why the reason is maximum count is possible in mode 1 that's why here my dear students once you understand t mode resistor you will have to understand t con resistor t con resistor controls timer t con resistor is used to start the count operation so tr bit is there when you make it to 1 you will be starting count when you make it to 0 you will be stopping count here my dear students when you start the count with respect to clock count will increase inside tr0 and tr1 with every clock it will increase by 1 when there is a overflow means when it reaches from fffff to 000 there will be roll over and it will give interrupt on tf bit that is also there on t con resistor so here my dear students you will be checking this bit as well to understand whether count is finished or not you can stop count in between as well but here my dear students when you generate delay at that time you will be checking that tf bit so that is there inside t con resistor so this is what you need to configure to have a programming now i'll explain you how we can program timer counter along with practical example so that will gives you more clarity 
so here my dear students we are having problem statement in which we are delivered to generate a delay of 20 microsecond and once you generate this delay you will have to send logic 1 on p 2.0 pin and here we are delivered to assume crystal frequency to be 12 megahertz here my dear students first of all you will have to understand how to configure tcon and t mode resistor so as i have told you when you want to configure this you will have to understand what is our problem problem is to generate delay so obviously you will be keeping this ct bar bit as zero as we want to operate as a timer in which clock will be given by 8051 here oscillator clock is 12 megahertz so ct bar that should be zero now you'll have to select whether you want to use timer one or timer zero let us say i just want to use timer zero so i don't need to see timer one now so keep all these bits as a zero now focus about timer zero now in timer zero you'll have to see in which mode you want to operate so i want to operate with mode one so what i'll do i'll keep m0 and m1 that as 0 1 over here so what will happen i'm configuring my timer zero in mode one right and it is timer and by keeping gate as zero i'm not using external trigger to have initiation of count so you see now i have configured this as a timer zero in mode one mode one means 16 bits of timer and for that i need to load t mode as this zeros and last bit is one right so once i load this this t mode will make timer zero in 16 bits now i need to understand how tcon is there so you see with timer zero if you observe this tr0 that i need to make it to one when i make it to one what will happen this timer will get started right so to start the timer zero in mode one you will have to make this bit as one so you see here i have made this bit as one other are zero i don't care about other bits i'm just caring about this bit only the reason is i'm having timer zero so when i make this bit one what i'll be doing is i'll be starting my timer zero and to stop this i need to have all zeros so i'll be stopping this timer so now you got the idea how to start the timer how to stop the timer and how i have configured the timer now i need to understand how much value that i need to load to generate 20 microsecond delay so here my dear students you should know in timer here clock to the timer that will be this foc divided by 12 so for one count how much delay will be there 12 divided by foc right so to calculate count one count time period that is 12 divided by foc that is one microsecond so for 20 microsecond how much count is there that count will be 20 only so 20 into 1 microsecond will be 20 microsecond so 20 in hexadecimal will be 14h now my dear students we need to understand how to load the count so for that my dear students you should know this timers are up counter so for that we need to load the value as per maximum value minus count plus 1 so when you do this you'll be having f f e c hex so this is the value that i need to load in timer zero timer zero is having two resistors t h zero and t l zero that i need to load it with this value now my dear students once you load this it will be generating delay of 20 microsecond let us see how to write program now so in program first of all you'll have to load this t mode resistor that will define which timer and which mode is there and whether it is timer or counter so for that i have loaded this as per 0 1 hex means 7 times 0 1 in binary then what i'm doing is i'm loading the value of count you see tl0 that is loaded by ec and th0 that is loaded by ff means i'm loading the value of count with 20 that will generate delay of 20 microsecond now i need to start the timer so i'll be making tcon is equals to 0001 4 times 0 so that will start this 
timer right i have already explained this you will have to load this to have starting of timer with t con resistor once you start this how you will get to know like whether count is finished or not for that my dear students with timer 0 you will have to check tf0 bit right so you see this t con is bit addressable so this tf0 that is t con dot phi bit that i am checking continuously in program so i am jumping over here only till it is 1 right so jnb means what jump if not bit means if this bit is equals to 1 then it will not jump right it will skip this and it will wait over here only till this 20 microsecond is over once 20 microsecond is over what will happen this tf that will get set to 1 automatically so it will skip this instruction now so it will come out of this loop in that case my dear students we are deal with to do what we are deal with to set logic 1 on port p 2.0 pin so i'm writing set b p 2.0 it will make logic 1 on this pin then my dear students i need to stop the timer by making t con is equals to all zero so i'm just moving this data inside t con to stop the timer and here i'm just ending my program so this program will do what it will be generating delay of 20 microsecond here we have start the timer we have stopped the timer we have configured the timer we have calculated the count and all this process that you'll have to follow for all the programs of timers and counters i hope it is clear to you still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video